Hello, welcome in Elector Domotics Lab. I am uh, Clemens Valens, and this is uh, for Elector Projects, our website of, about uh, electronics uh, projects. In Elector Domotics Lab, we are working on a uh, domotic system, an Elector Home Control system, based on Ethernet. Now, to my side here, we have uh, on my side we have Kuhn, one of the developers of this project, and Kuhn will tell us a bit more about what it is doing, what it is capable of, and what you can do with it. Yeah, we have uh, the demotic system we developed uh, when I was a trainee here. Uh, the basic idea was to have a demotic system without making too much new wiring on your house. Uh, therefore, we chose uh, to work with the Ethernet protocol, um, which we could yeah, easily use because most people already have a wireless of a wired connection at home. Uh, we chose to make multiple modules. Uh, we have the IO module, a relay module, latch module, and of course a control panel with a 10.1 inch capacitive touchscreen. Okay, so uh, why uh, why did you use a, a touchscreen, for instance? It's quite a big touchscreen. Isn't it an expensive solution? Uh, yes, it was expensive, but um, yeah, we were thinking, well, you could also take a small touchscreen or a resistive, but then it was beautiful to have a capacitive touchscreen because those are coming into the market. Okay, so it's it's a gadget. Yes, it's it's more of just a gadget, just okay. something to have. And this touch screen, it's um, it's connected to something. We only see this the display here, but uh, what kind of controller is behind it? Uh, we chose to use a beagle board behind it. Um, it was uh, the touch screen was developed purely for the beagle board. Uh, the beagle board runs on a uh, modified version of Ubuntu, a special uh, distribution of Linux, uh, and the software that runs on there is written in Python by me with uh, by GTK uh, framework. And so you uh, you did the, the software? Yes. And your colleague Jesper, who is not here, sorry, <laughs> he did the hardware. Yes. Is that right? Yes, he did the hardware and the firmware that runs uh, on there. Okay. That was his work. Okay, and I'm looking here, over here, I see a PC with a very impressive uh, screen display. I mean, all lots of information. If I want this system in my home, do I need a TV like this with all this matrix like um, commands uh, or data or whatever it is uh, passing over my screen? Uh, no, this is just purely uh, the log uh, information that the server and the user interface uh, give. So you can actually see the communication with uh, several modules with the user interface uh, on here. This is just purely for debug information. Okay, so it works without a PC? Yes, I can plug my PC off and it'll keep working. This switch box, what is it doing and what can you do with it? So I just made a small box um, with a couple of resistors in it um, that is hooked up right here to the I.O. module. So it's just for easy switching for the I.O. module. So this compares to the wall switches in your uh, house? Yes, yes. Is it actually working? Yes, of course it's working. So can you show us? Yes, I can. Okay, so we talked about uh, different modules. Um, let me start about the LED strip module. Uh, as Clemens already uh, told, we had the we had old-fashioned light bulb, but then we also wanted a, a nice LED strip module uh, that we can work on. Um, the LED strip module is easy configurable through the um, monitor. Uh, we have just a couple of sliders here, uh, which allow us to set the color with a simple press of the button. I'll move it so you can see it. Uh, the LED strip module itself is uh, powered by a 12 volts uh, standard wall socket. Uh, of course, runs via the Ethernet. Uh, we made it as small as possible so that you can yeah that you, you can easily work it away. As you can see, it's very easy to set the colors to what you want. Then, uh, as we already said, we had the I/O board, uh, which is uh, this one here. Uh, the I.O. board was the first board we developed. We have uh, two uh, relais capable of uh, switching the mains voltage. We also have two uh, inputs uh, rated for mains voltage, so you can hook your uh, yeah, standard uh, switch on there. Then we have uh, four standard uh, digital outputs. Uh, these give five volts or zero. And also we have inputs here uh, four pieces also f uh, rated for five volts. Uh, then we have the uh, Relem module. Um, that one uh, is one of the latest PCBs we did, so there are a lot of improvements uh, on that one. 
the Rilla board can switch uh, four Rillas. Um, these are 230 of mains voltage. You just supply with mains voltage. Um, user interface was designed by me indeed uh, on Python and PyGTK. Uh, we have the rooms here, so it's an overview of rooms. You can add rooms, you can remove rooms. Um, every room has its modules assigned to it, so you can have a module in the living room, you can have a module on your toilet, I don't know whatever you want to do with that, but it's possible. Um, then we have standard buttons here, uh, you can see it's 01, 02, 03, 04, well, we don't know what that would mean. So I've created the possibility to create a own user interface. Um, this is customizable through a small Python uh, code object. Now when I go back to the overview room, we have a small menu here with info. And all this info, there's a lot of info about every module, about the network, the version info. All of this communicates uh, with each other. So you can see here info about the house. We have three connected modules. We have uh, total modules of three, three modules added. Total rooms is two, and that gives about one module average per room. And every module itself has uh, info. Uh, you can see the IP address of each and every module, uh, if it's online or not, uh, what type it is. Uh, which revision of the code runs on it. Uh, thank you, Kuhn, for this uh, presentation. Uh, it's, I think you have a nice, uh, done a nice job together with uh, Jesper. I have some questions, however. First of all, the Beagle board, the software, is in Python, you said. Yes. So why did you choose Python? Uh, mainly because Python is a very easy uh, language to develop in. Uh, you, don't, you don't need to worry with uh, compilers and everything. Um, you can just program it and it automatically runs. Uh, therefore, I find Python a very, yeah, i done a lot in Python, so it was for me a very easy task. Okay, so if people want to build their own system, then they have to learn Python, but that's easy to learn, and then they can start developing right away. Yes, Python is very, very easy to learn. Uh, when you're not really used to programming language, I think Python is a good way to start uh, programming, and indeed, it's very, yeah, you can start right away. And I have another question, it's about the LED strip, of course. Uh, I like the LED strip that you can control it uh, from uh, Ethernet, but I would like to be able to like it, uh, to control it from uh, my phone or from my laptop. And I don't like the e Ethernet cable uh, connected to it. So what about uh, replacing that with a Wi-Fi connection? Uh, yeah, we were thinking about doing that. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll have something like that uh, coming on soon. I think that might be a good uh, addition to it. Okay. Thank you, very good. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. All the details about the uh, Elector Beagleboard uh, fight and Python domotics uh, project can be found on Elector Projects. It's www.electorprojects.com.